hello guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to see about the components of hadoop so hadoop is a framework that uses distributed storage and parallel processing to store and manage big data uh, it is most commonly used software to handle big data and there are four components of hadoop first one is hdfs hadoop distributed file system and it is a storage unit of hadoop data is stored in distributed manner in hdfs and there are two components of hdfs name node and data node uh, there can be only one name node and multiple data nodes master and slave node master and slave nodes form hdfs cluster and the name node is called master while the data node is called slaves name node is responsible for working of data nodes and name nodes also stores metadata and data nodes read write process and replicate the data so this is how the master node and slave node can be represented second is map reduce it performs the processing of large data sets in a distributed and parallel manner uh, it is also known as processing unit of apache hadoop then the processing is done at the slave nodes and final result is sent to the master node it consists of two tasks that is map and reduce and there are two essential demons of MapReduce. First is Job Tracker. It can also be said like a master node. And the second is Task Tracker that acts like a slave node. As Mapper does is, it, uh, it splits big problems into small problems in key and value pair. In Reduce, it reduces the problems and converts the intermediate results into final result. Daemons are nothing but the processes which work on the background. Uh, in MapReduce, we give big data as an input. Then mapping, uh, mapping happens. Then after mapping, it goes to shuffle and sort. Then after shuffle, uh, shuffle and sort, uh, the sorted results are reduced to more precise. And then after the reduce, we get the output. So this is the example of an map reduce. First an input is given that is there are four sentences a good cook could then cook as much cookies and as a good cook who could cook cookies then after splitting that whole input a good cook could then cook as much cookies as a good cook and who could cook cookies. Then after splitting, uh, mapping will be performed. Then after mapping, uh, shuffling occurs. Uh, if there are any similar words appearing uh, twice, then it will be counted uh, uh, in shuffling. Then uh, after shuffle, shuffling, all the uh, appearances will be summed up in reducing step. Then after uh, reducing, we will get the output in the final result. So this is how the map reduce works. Third component is Hadoop YARN. Uh, so YARN stands for yet another resource negotiator. Then it is the resource management unit of Hadoop and is available as component of Hadoop version 2. It acts like an OS to Hadoop and then it is a file system that is built on top of HDFS then it is responsible for managing cluster resources to make sure you don't overload one machine and it performs job scheduling to make sure that jobs are scheduled in the right place how the Hadoopian works is there are clients on the left side and node managers and other applications on the uh, right side and clients on the left side and resource manager uh, managing the or tasks so client sends a request to the resource manager about what job it needs to be done then resource manager manages the tasks accordingly suppose a client machine wants to do a query or fetch some code for data analytics uh, this job request goes to the resource manager that is Hadoop Yarn which is responsible for resource allocation and management and the fourth component is Hadoop Common. It is the basic toolbox for handling big data across a bunch of computers and it refers to the foundational set of utilities, libraries, 
and uh, APIs that provide support for Hadoop ecosystem. So this was it for the components of Hadoop and thank you for watching till here.